more money guttery. Good, because that's what you're getting. And it's being built up to be a clash between the old and the new, the previous and first of Shinobu's minions against Aragi. Although it seems as though this episode is going to be an exposition episode, as uh, someone pointed out, so I'm guessing a lot of reading, a lot of listening, and more miscomprehension on my part. So, I apologise in advance, but let's get going. Yay! Then more can... Death doesn't seem to be a permanent fixture in this world, does it? And does Shinobu not want to listen to any of this? Yeah, but it's a impressive set of coincidences. And they all seem to congregate on uh, Aragi. At least he finds his way around to being entwined in the stories. And now I think I'll remember the kanji for Ash. Considering it's fire in what looks to be like a shelter kind of thing. So, did she know this, or was it a subconscious draw for her? Knowing what little has uh, been shown about Shinobu, both are possible. So many mysteries... And uh, the shape through the lattice work reminded me of my high school art project <laughs> on the category of barriers, and I made something that was essentially that, only not as stylistic and definitely not as good. And you just happened to be drawn into this place. It's... I don't know how I feel about that kind of thing where, you know, when you think you're under control of what you're thinking and what your motivations and goals are, but... You're being manipulated in a way. Maybe I should have worn my other hoodie. It looks like uh, Canberra's one really, doesn't it? Ooh. 
well, in the current climate of things with our Aggie and whatnot, it is somewhat a, a problematic. Shinobu is uh, one to forgive, isn't she? Do you need to be showing off while you're asking questions? As if she's trying to uh, see if Kavru can come to a clever. I didn't want to repeat the word that was just said, but answer to all. Was that a timetable of everything that happened? So the history of that shrine is more encapsulating than I even thought. It's not just a, a background for things to happen in, but it's got its own history behind it, which is actually intertwined with the story. I think I already know this much from the story when uh, they go back in time and change things. Like everything's drawn here. It must be a difficult job to have to make sure things don't happen, because if you do a good job, then nobody would know you've done it at all. I'm not. I expected uh, this scene with the muted audio to not be this long. And with the camera shake. And apart from Shinobu just being here, is there anything that, I think as uh, Cambru pointed out, that forced him out of the perpetual reincarnation and death cycle? Well, it's not, it's not reincarnation, but rejuvenation. Mm. So he overpowered it in a way. But each time it was 
beaten and broken back. Yeah, I don't know enough about the uh, the whole Japanese shrine spirits and mythology behind that to know the intricacies of it. Considering the time travel thing, when um, Aharagi wasn't her servant and she destroyed the entire world, would that mean that in a few years after that, then uh, yeah, um, this guy would also make a rebirth, so it would have been in that world as well. I like how I was putting emphasis on accident, but not translated. You see, this is a big exposition for all of us, but is shattering to Shinobu, probably. That her... Her first uh, servant, as it will. We'll make a resurgence. That is, apart from, well, instead of having the historiosity of all explained, just give me the orders of what I'm actually supposed to do. Since that plan now can't come to be, or why he left so suddenly, to have them all drawn to this one area, there must be, yeah, one big. Almost conspiracy behind it all. <laughs> now replace the phones for just pictures on a wall connected by string and you've got a completely different visual there. She does have the uh, the visuals of the uh, it, it, the little ballerina thing in the uh, music box, doesn't she? When in doubt, blame Araragi. Possible, but also could have been anything else that you've ever done. He didn't do enough homework. They are all essentially like that, aren't they? They either don't say enough, or they say it in such a convoluted manner that doesn't get the uh, 
urgency of the situation across. So she couldn't sense anything from his spirit or ash or whatever. Hmm. But it's already kind of known that he had been brought back at least to uh, enough to gain a physical body because Shinobu's nearby. Well, I don't. Is this above all of them? So she's being kept away from it all? Unlimited rulebook would be, uh, I assume, quite beneficial here. And the longer you time, the longer you take spending time with this dialogue, oh, it's Godzilla. That is quite a glare. Please. And is she okay with leaving uh, Kamburu there? Is that due to her not wanting to see him? Like, purposely keeping away? If he died 400 years ago... And Aragi has only just become the second. 400 years is a long way of uh, being alone. Well, that's going to become something, isn't it? Of course, anything for uh, getting a cute girl some food, Canberra would be all over that, wouldn't she? Amending her words. <sighs> Who's really the one in danger here? What does she want picking up? Mm. 
Are you sure she doesn't have enough? We've seen her, her room before. And he's now going to have to go buy it. Just wait until you hear. Hmm. I mean, sure, but it's quite a good descriptor of the book. And what's with this preview thing that goes on? It's usually like an advert. Camber looks not bad in that get up, though, doesn't she? Oh, uh, was that a quote? <laughs> what a face! Did you come out because you didn't have any? Or was it because you were an exhibitionist? Pick one. Yeah, he has to keep hold of what little dignity he has left. I'm guessing that thing was a reference there which I just don't have the knowledge to understand. Is that Kaiki? Let's hope that nobody he knows sees him. Given his tendencies already. Ah, uh, ephemeral. A word I quite like. Hmm. <sighs> so, one... F The lady does protest too much. Oh, is, yeah, it's just... Wow, what shoulder definition. Well done. What a place for a meeting. Were you here to buy a book as well? Now I can see why they'd have that bit of you know, employees laughing at him, but if their bookshop is supplying the material, surely they shouldn't then... Can't think of a, a good word to use, but make their clientele feel inferior. 
It's like, you're the one selling it, so why can you judge anyone who buys it? <laughs> or is it just Aragi over overthinking things? There's been quite a few times when I thought people have been, you know, looking at me or questioning what I'm doing. But in reality, no one really cares. You shouldn't have to feel so self-conscious. Although, yeah, going overboard in the other direction as the, the magazines he was looking at. Oh, I'm being accused of liking this one thing. So I'll go with the, not polar opposite, but you know what I mean, to try and dispel that. Mm, that's not how it works. Especially since uh, it's entirely possible to hold multiple preferences. And I really didn't expect any less of uh, Cambry when she said, buy me a book. I mean, I'd be more shocked if it wasn't going down that route. And are any of the specialists capable of not pontificating to the point of preposterousness? I feel like they can be more direct with their message and at least I will be able to at least understand it then. I usually think I'm quite good at understanding the uh, intricacies of of events and circumstances, but the fact that I just look at Monogatari and cry internally. Hmm. But considering the episodes are running thin, and we've now got the meeting in the bookstore, I feel like it will be brought to a close relatively soon. And so with that said, I can actually feel parts of my brain boiling trying to come to terms with what I, what has been going on in this episode. So, um... Yeah, I... I... No. So if you want to wish me luck in getting any closer to understanding, then make sure to let me know down in the comments. And if you want to give me that extra bit of support, then a little thumbs up on the video is... <sighs> definitely be needed. And right now, I'm feeling... Not too bad, actually. So... Despite everything that's going on in the minute, I hope all of you out there are keeping nice and safe and healthy. So please get some rest, so that I can see you in the next one. Of course, all of you out there are doing me a great service, so please accept my gratitude. And also, give your appreciation to my Patreons, especially Florida Taku, Sal, Raywin, Denimet1997, and Luis Almanza. And so, my friends, once again, it's been an honour, and truly, thank you.